From feeling like a new show is a family reunion for the wrong family, to her belief that Daenerys deserved a better send-off, this is how Amelia Clark reveals why she can't stand to watch House of the Dragon. For eight years, Amelia Clark was one of the most recognizable faces on television. Her role as Daenerys Targaryen on the hit HBO series Game of Thrones catapulted her into superstardom, and she quickly became a household name. Daenerys, Danny, Khaleesi, and the Mother of Dragons. She was a fan favorite during the show's entire run, and Clark amassed a dedicated group of followers during her tenure on the show. Even though fanfare for Game of Thrones died down towards its final season, Danny and the lore surrounding her family still had people enthralled. So when HBO announced its Game of Thrones prequel series, House of the Dragon, fans were thrilled. A new show set in the same universe meant diving back into the world so many people had come to love. But not everyone is quite as thrilled about the prequel. Considering the show would be following Targaryen dragon-taming ancestors, you would think that Daenerys herself might be pretty into the idea, since she never got to spend much time with her real family. Well, except for her nephew, Jon Snow. Too soon? The new show and its focus on House Targaryen means viewers get to learn all about the family dynamic, long before Daenerys ever came along. But much to the surprise of many fans, Amelia Clark isn't too keen on the whole thing. House of the Dragon became an instant hit, just like its predecessor, Game of Thrones. The series is set nearly 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones, and 172 years before the birth of Daenerys Targaryen. The first episode had close to 10 million views across HBO platforms, and five days after it premiered, the show was renewed for a second season. Despite the massive success of the series and the positive fan reactions, Amelia Clark is happy to keep her distance from the prequel. Clark has her reasons for not being into the show, and she came clean about some of them while speaking in the Variety studio at the Sundance Film Festival. While chatting with Variety's Matt Donnelly, Amelia Clark said, I just can't do it. It's so weird. It's so strange. The actress was asked if she watches the show, but she was quick to respond, answering, No, can you forgive me? Sorry, Amelia, but some fans might not be able to do that. The actress went on to clarify her reasons, saying, It's too weird. I'm so happy it's happening. I'm over the moon about all the awards. It's kind of like someone saying, You want to go to the school reunion that's not your year? Want to go to that school reunion? That's how it feels. I'm avoiding it. What's interesting about Clark's recent refusal to watch House of the Dragon is the way it differs from her initial feelings ahead of the series premiere. While speaking with BBC News about the new show early last summer, Clark revealed that the show was going to be weird as hell, but she wasn't against it at the time. The actress even went on to say that she was going to watch this as a fresh viewer because it's a bajillion years before our show, so it's going to feel different. While her opinion on watching the show might have changed, one thing remains true, her stance on one day revisiting Westeros. When asked if she'd ever be open to returning to the world, Clark reportedly laughed and answered with, No, I think I'm done. For her performance as Daenerys, the actress was nominated for four Emmy Awards and three Critics' Choice Awards, but not everyone was a fan of her performance. At the House of the Dragon premiere in Sydney, Australia last year, Patrick Delaney, CEO of Australia-based television service Foxtel, made a comment that had Daenerys fans rushing to Amelia Clark's defense. Delaney revealed his reaction following his first watch of Game of Thrones, saying, What's this show with the dumpy-looking girl who walks into the flames? He later clarified that his comment was meant to be sarcastic, and Foxtel even issued an official apology on his behalf. But his words did not sit well with fans. In fact, many folks took to social media to sing Amelia Clark's praises and to thank her for her portrayal of Daenerys because without it, House of the Dragon might not exist as a television series at all. One Twitter user said, Never forget that the reason we're getting a whole prequel about Targaryens tonight is thanks to Daenerys, who is portrayed by Amelia Clark and her iconic impact on pop culture. And another set of Amelia and her character Daenerys, the best character on Game of Thrones. Despite the love that both Amelia and the fans have for Daenerys, many folks felt that the writers failed the character in the final season of Game of Thrones. In fact, Clark's own opinion on the fate of her character is one of the most interesting, as the ending for Daenerys is still considered controversial. 
While appearing at a fan convention, Clark told attendees how she really felt about the Fader character met, saying, Daenerys is a very hopeful character. She has a lot of hopes, and I wish that she was able to achieve that. I still think Daenerys did nothing wrong. I'm on her side. Clark's opinion mirrors that of her fans, as many were disappointed by the way Daenerys took a dark turn, and some continue to strongly believe that this change to her character is something that hurt the show in the end. It's not fair that Jon gets to live, Clark added, referring to the way Jon Snow carried on after taking Danny's life in an attempt to protect the people of Westeros. It's no surprise that Daenerys went a bit mad in the end. Several generations of trauma will do that to a person, but things could have been handled differently. Viewers firmly believe that if they had, the final season of Game of Thrones may have been better received. While Amelia Clark remains firm on why she won't be tuning in to House of the Dragon, the actress hasn't been shy about showing her love for the folks behind the scenes. During her talk with Variety at Sundance, she gave season one showrunner Miguel Sapochnik a special shout out. The pair worked together when Sapochnik directed some of the most beloved episodes of Game of Thrones. And Clark is thrilled for his success, saying, Love him, brilliant, wonderful. Sapochnik has since stepped down as a showrunner, and series co creator Ryan Condal has taken the reins for season two. House of the Dragon took home the Best Drama Series Award at the 2023 Golden Globes. In anticipation for the second season of the successful show continues to build. Three years after the Game of Thrones finale, fans are still deeply invested in the stories and the characters that exist in the world George R. R. Martin created, and audiences were so captivated by Daenerys Targaryen that it seems like she provided a built-in fan base for her ancestors. Fans were so pumped about the new series last year that when the House of the Dragon pilot episode landed on HBO, the streaming site crashed because too many people tried to watch on premiere night. Much to the disappointment of dedicated Amelia Clark fans, the actress won't be setting aside time to watch the new season, but the consensus online is that House of the Dragon is worth watching. One YouTuber even said House of the Dragon redeemed the franchise. Clark's performance as the original Targaryen on screen has cemented her in the history of pop culture, and it's unlikely that her incredible performance will soon be forgotten. The current popularity of House of the Dragon will likely attract a new viewing audience to the adaptations of George R. R. Martin's work. It means some folks might get to experience Game of Thrones for the very first time. But as far as Amelia Clark is concerned, she won't be adding to the viewership numbers anytime soon. And she's moved on from her time as Daenerys Targaryen, even if we haven't. So there you have it, folks. From feeling like a new show is a family reunion for the wrong family, to her belief that Daenerys deserved a better send-off. That's how Amelia Clark revealed why she can't stand to watch House of the Dragon.